Well, for Jeremy, me first, I wanted to um, ask you, you know, your character is still kind of an anomaly in Hollywood today, like an openly black gay writer. And I want to know if there were any black historical figures that you were inspired by in um, crafting your character. Yeah, um, for me, hands down, James Baldwin. Um, yeah, yeah. I think he was an incredible individual, an incredible active this he had such a knowledge um i think partially because he spent time overseas and he saw so much of different parts of the world so when he came back to the states he had a different idea of what it means to be a black man what it means to be a black effeminate uh gay man um with a voice a powerful voice and i feel like that is archie archie is looking to use his voice his gifts his narrative to tell a bigger picture um and to create paths um, in ways for people that look like him. And for Jake and Jim, you have like a different objective because, you know, you're playing people um, based on real life figures and they're not fictional characters or a composite. So what was the process like, you know, getting into these characters and bringing them to life, uh, given they were based upon, you know, real life people? Yeah, uh, well, obviously we both have real material to work with. In my case, it was mostly written in a couple of photographs and um, and I used the hell out of everything I could find. And it was just, it was really good food for fodder to have within me. And, um, and, and this series, without spoiling anything, offers the chance for both these characters to have different endings, um, both of them deeply affected by some other brave and powerful choices that were made in this version of Hollywood that weren't made in real life. And um, I found it very moving to play the last couple of episodes where things are shifting and changing and these characters' lives are shifting and changing in a way that they weren't afforded that possibility in their real lives. Um, it, was a, it was a much more moving experience to go through that acting it than I kind of foresaw it was going to be. Yeah, I think just getting my hands on anything I could in terms of uh, watching Rock's old films, watching them on silent, kind of studying the body language, listening to his interviews, just, you know, uh, and uh, studying his personal relationships as much as the information provided with his stepfather and um, just kind of trying to figure out, uh, we, you know, we got to wear prosthetics, which was cool, Jim, Jim's character and myself, which I think helps us step into a certain mold. and. Um, yeah, it was, uh, you, you definitely feel that certain obligation and that level, that gravity where, you know, uh, he was such an icon and a hero in my mind. So stepping on set, um, uh, I, you just want to pay homage to his legacy. Really. Jeremy, you were able to, I feel like, seamlessly transition from such a stellar year on Broadway and now moving to television. What were some of the harder and easier aspects of um, jumping from stage to TV? Yeah, I think the one thing I missed the most about working on TV was just an audience. Your audience becomes the camera lens and you have to, there's technical things, there's eye lines, there's certain things that you have to worry about because ultimately you want to create the best image and picture for people to see on their massive screens. But um, the thing I loved about it was just this, you have this willingness to play and freedom. I think Ryan builds the, the foundation but a lot of these things were happening on the day. So there's um, an, an example, me and Mr. Jake Picking, our first day on set was an intimate scene that we had together. So we really had to like lean in and trust each other. And I think that is why our chemistry works so well because we had to find a humor and learning each other's bodies like and, and spirits and energies like immediately. Um, but I, en I enjoyed that like freedom um, I, I enjoy playing that, that kind of that, uh, me as an artist, that's the best. It was a dream to just kind of throw paint on a canvas and hope that you created a masterpiece as it's drying. Um, yeah, yeah, awesome. What do you think people will be surprised most about uh, watching Hollywood? I guess what surprised me most going through the process of getting these scripts as we were making it and going through the scenes was this, the implication which seemed very real of how, seemingly even though it feels big these these little choices made in these little boardrooms can make such worldwide differences and i think there's a lot of truth to that and um and at some level you logically i think know that as a person but to see and this is where films and entertainment that we watch can be so important i think it to watch it acted out and, and acted in front of you puts a context to it and makes it real and it gives it more possibility in that way